We just got a call. We got a leak in a 12 unit in the basement. I've been here a few times. Uh, I was just midway in that water heater when I got that call. So we're going to go check it out. They were saying it's a half inch pipe, I think he said. And I got to go shut the water off in 12 units. I guess we'll go check it out. I hear something. I see water. I hear it spraying. I just don't see it. Oh man, that's bad. That is bad. So I finally found the main. The main of the main. Nice and smooth, baby. Hopefully it shuts off. So we have a light little stream right now. I'm not too scared of it. Literally you can stop with your finger. I'm just gonna cut it and then put a valve on it. Leave it open while I'm doing it and then crimp it. And then uh, go from there. It's not really a live, uh, not really doing this live. It just, I believe that's just, just the, uh, the ridge, can't even say it right now. The residual. There we go. So, we got that. I dented it too. Remember where the O-ring goes. That's how it's done. Fine. Hopefully I can get that on there. That's what I'm talking about. Just needs to sit flush.
Turn the water back on. Check the leaks. Yeah, I could have probably got away with the, the using the valve. I was just worried about that little dent, and uh, I don't want to give that thing a chance to leak. And I was just thinking, I'm like, that orange gonna land on the dent. It's probably fine, but it might leak later on. I want to give it at least a chance, you know. I mean, you got to follow the manufacturer. If you think there's any question, redo it.